there's nurses dying everywhere. Just three in Michigan, down in Detroit area, young people passed, nurses passed. That's super scary. It's scary to think that we could die doing the job that we love um, by trying to help people. One of the hardest things as a nurse is to see how serious this is, to see healthy individuals that have no medical history, they have no comorbidities, there's nothing the matter with them and they're not making it through this. It's even harder to see people still continuing to not social distance themselves from others. On the way driving here, I saw a bunch of people at a park, even though they're closed down. That's the hardest thing, is that people are not taking it seriously until it's someone that they know, someone that they love. Up here in the UP, people have a sense of that they're stronger than anybody else. We go through hard winters, you know, people cut their own firewood. It, it's just, sometimes it's a hard life up here. It really is. And so because of that, sometimes people think that they're immune to these things. They're, they're immune to, coronavirus. I remember people saying, oh, there's no cases up here in the UP. We need to keep it that way and we'll be fine. Um, but it's here and, it, and we're not fine. I think a lot of people up here don't understand a lot of the rules because we kind of are already social distanced from each other. We don't have a lot of apartment buildings. We don't ride subways to work. We don't do these things. So they don't necessarily understand that because we're part of Michigan, we're the state of Michigan, that downstate, there are people that take public transportation to work. Because we're the state of Michigan, people are having a hard time grasping that and thinking that it's an infringement on their constitutional rights when really it's, we're just trying to keep everyone safe and alive. I am currently sitting in the parking lot of the hospital that I work at, um, waiting to go in for my shift. Um, it's the first shift that I will have worked since we have had confirmed cases of COVID-19 here in our county. That itself brings a lot of fear and anxiety and just a lot of feelings. I have actually packed extra clothes. So this garbage bag is how my work bag, seen inside here, is how it gets transferred to and from work. I plan on showering here, showering when I get home, doing anything I can to prevent the spread of getting to my child. because one of the scariest things is not thinking that I might get it and this might be something that I have to go through, but it's looking at your child and thinking, what if I give it to them? So my son has had respiratory issues when he was first born. Um, a couple months old, he was in the ER just having a hard time breathing and um, he was given nebulizer treatments and stuff like that. He gets sick every almost every month on the dot with a cough, a runny nose, you know, wheezes, shortness of breath, that kind of stuff. And he has seen a specialist for it, but it does scare me to think that he is already in some way compromised with his health. Because of that, I've been having the hard conversations. I've been having the conversations with my husband. If, if something happens to me, I want this to happen. I've been talking to my family about what I would like them to do if something were to happen to me. So right now we do have enough masks for everybody, but that is conditional. That is that we are reusing masks that are supposed to be one time use. This is my N95 mask. I've already put quite a few hours in while wearing this mask. I believe I've put in about 30 hours. I do have N95s at both my places of employment, but that's it. I won't be issued a new one unless mine gets soiled or damaged. The attitude has gotten a lot worse. Um, yesterday there was another update from our governor with even further restrictions. The order also imposes more stringent limitations on stores to reduce foot traffic and to slow the spread of coronavirus and save lives. And people just can't fathom that and why that would be a thing. Because of that, it's continuing to spread. If people would have just, when it first started, stopped doing those things, 
it probably would be different. We probably wouldn't see these restrictions, but because people can't handle it, <laughs> they keep getting stricter. Yesterday, our governor made an announcement relaxing some of the restrictions in the UP and the northern lower peninsula of Michigan. Healthcare providers do anticipate a spike in cases in a few weeks. I would love to be proved wrong on this. I would love for it not to happen more than anything, but with the mentality that's out there and everybody wants to rush to pack the bars and rush to pack the stores, I don't see how it couldn't. So while I am excited in ways that places are opening up that things could slowly go back to normal and we can see what our new normal would be. It is frightening. It is frightening to know that again, healthcare providers, frontline workers will be at the face of this if or when we have a resurgence of COVID.